What is up guys, it's me the Gaming D and welcome back to another video. Guys, this is episode number 4 of the WWE 2K22 Created Superstar Showcase. And this is actually part 2 of the WrestleMania 38 attires. The last one I had 8 superstars and this one, sadly, I only have 5. But, you know, it's the, the best of the superstars that I could. Some people I wanted to show off, like Chad Gable, for example, but no one was making, you know, Chad Gables, you know? They are mainly making the, the popular stars. But let's do this with the five superstars from night two of WrestleMania. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, go download all these superstars for yourself. Let these people know how much you appreciate them and uh just subscribe for more content like this and uh yeah so let's get right into this with what i picked for superstar number five now with superstar number five we have bobby lashley created by all dare two five zero four now bobby lashley simple guy really really simple this attire is just half and half one side's black one side's red and it just looks good i really like it i've noticed uh it's been almost a month since wrestlemania i think it might might have been a month since wrestlemania and he's been wearing the like this red and black attire so much it's crazy <laughs> but, but uh i really like it i like red and black as a combo red and black you know freaking green and black blue and black you know blue and red even like it, there's so many combinations that are so good white and black you know and this is just one of them that i like so it just made me pop so thank you so much for that and let's get on to superstar number four now with superstar number four we have a naomi created by scared 860 now the first attire is her wrestlemania attire it's literally all neon green in the ring it doesn't glow thankfully <laughs> i remember when they added the glowing feature back i think 2k19 man everyone was using it like in the ring and everything and they weren't using it for just entrances but i like how this attire and the guy who created this did that for the entrance so for the entrance attire she does have her leather jacket on but you know it the parts glow like they're supposed to during her entrance so i like that feature that they made sure to add the second attire is more of like a like a pearlish like blue i don't know like how to describe the color i guess <laughs> but it's like a pearlish blue purple you know it's a mix and then the entrance attire for that is again she's got a jacket on but a little bit of that glows now for some reason the uh her top doesn't glow but the bottoms and the boots do so that's really good and i you know i like it i like both of them very very much so thank you so much for that and let's get on to superstar number three now with superstar number three we have Liv morgan created by scared 860 once again now with this Liv morgan she took more of a catwoman approach with this if you don't know superheroes and such you know it she looks kind of like catwoman where her gear looks more like lingerie like it's um like all leather uh, you know she's got the straps you know she's got kind of like the uh the stitching on the, her top and then for her entrance attire she does have like cat ears and she's wearing herself a little mask uh her and uh rhea ripley had like a, a theme going and she had a whip that actually sold for like six grand or something uh <laughs> on wwe auctions it, it's crazy how how much they sold that whip for that she used during this entrance but man uh then the second attire here is uh it's kind of similar but it's more like metal-esque i think it's more to fit with rhea ripley's theme with like her how she's more like gothic and you know into like heavy metal you know chains and you know all, all that stuff so either way it look you know she looks really good she's one of my favorite wrestlers like right now she deserves to be a champion of some sort whether it's tag champ or even bring her back down to nxt to get her to win the women's championship like that it'd be nice you know i like these attires they look very nice so thank you so much for that and let's get on to superstar number two now with superstar number two we have aj styles created by dobre underscore duke 
uh, 11. Now, I think AJ Styles did an attire close to this, maybe a different design. I think it was for the last WrestleMania in Dallas. Uh, what was it 34 or 32? Something with when he wrestled um, Shane McMahon, I believe. And, you know, it was a white and a light blue theme and i love it i love it so much man it looks so good it's so clean aj styles skins and like seth rollins skins are my favorite they just they look so nice like you can put them in just flat pink and they're still gonna look phenomenal so you know i i like it a lot i aj styles can rock literally anything so thank you so much for that and let's see what i picked for superstar number one now with superstar number one, we have Edge created by GJ GJD Orton Orton Ugh, freaking item, dude. If you can pronounce it, you know you know what it is. All right. Anyway, <laughs> Edge has recently made a transformation. He, I believe, at this WrestleMania, he introduced like a new faction of his with Damian Priest, and right now Rhea Ripley's in it. It's called Judgment Day. So he's coming at more of. He has a different theme it's not the typical like rated r superstar you know he's kind of more of like a, a leader of a cult now and his attire kind of fits that with the you know hands reaching up to him it looks really nice it really reminds me of the the purple and black attire of the undertaker where he undertaker didn't wear it for long but you know, it just gives me that vibe. Like, he's he's there to mess things up. But, yeah, I love the new theme. Uh, he did cut his hair after Mania. But, man, I love it. And the entrance attire for it, it's more of, like, a closed-off jacket with, like, shoulder pads. Like, he's ready to just tackle someone. <laughs> but, it, you know, it, it looks good. It looks good. It, it's definitely one of my favorite attires during the whole WrestleMania, like one night one and two. You know, it just looks good, and he just he continues to make it look good. You know, throughout the last month since Mania, it still looks phenomenal. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you did enjoy all of these five superstars. I wish I could have did a little bit more, but sadly couldn't find any solid ones so i hope you did enjoy it i uh, again i want you guys to go give these people the support they deserve if you need to find any of the uh, usernames for these creators you can look in the description and uh yeah so again thank you so much and i will see you guys in my next video peace